Shahab says, people say that we always tell them everything is an innovation. So why do we use new technology, cars, computers, internet, when these were not used by the Prophet وسلم, nor the three favorite generations. Well, Shahab, you have to understand the meaning of the word innovation. When we say that there are many innovations in space travel or in technologies, this has nothing to do with Islam. The innovation that we are warning people against are related to religion and not only related to religion the intention of the person doing it is to get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal through means that the Prophet والسلام, did not teach us nor recommended us nor there is a general guideline that permits it let us reverse engineer that so the Prophet says alayhi salatu wasalam in Sahih al-Imam Muslim narrated by Mother Aisha may Allah be pleased with her he says alayhi salatu wasalam whoever creates innovates in our affairs meaning in our religion what is not part of it it is rejected so when we invent cars are these cars related to our affair, to our religion? Nope. Whether you ride a bicycle, a motorbike, or a car, it has nothing to do with your good deeds or with getting closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. So it has to be in the religion. Example, the Prophet used to pray four rak'ahs of dhuhr fard with the congregation in the masjid correct correct afterwards he used to pray two rak'ahs ratiba voluntary sunnah prayers correct correct did he pray it alone or in congregation of course alone he never prayed such ratiba in congregation good if today i pray dhuhr in my masjid and after finishing the congregation, after doing my adhkar, I talked to the congregation. I said, listen, guys, we've just finished dhuhr. We are about to pray two rak'ahs, sunnah of dhuhr. How about if we pray it in congregation? Wouldn't that be fine? Wouldn't that be great? Because the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, recommended that we pray in congregation when he said that a man's prayer with the congregation is 27 times better than his prayer alone. So guys, what do you think? Isn't that a beautiful idea? One stands and said, that's a great idea, Sheikh. But the Prophet had never done that. Wouldn't that make it a bid'ah? And I say, hmm, you're right. It is a bid'ah. I apologize. My bad. So this is the definition of an innovation. To invent something in Islam where your intention is to get closer to Allah with it, but it is baseless. It is not in Islam. And as I've mentioned a few minutes ago, Allah says in chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 3, Today, I have completed your religion. So the religion is complete. For me to come and say, um, guys, we pray five times a day. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. How about adding witter to it and say that it is six prayers a day that we must offer? That would be genuine and, and original. No, of course not. The deen was completed you cannot add something to it as 
you cannot subtract anything from it. It's a package that Allah has revealed 15 centuries ago, and it will remain till the end of time. So, cars are not an innovation. Okay, Sheikh, I'll hand that to you. What about microphones? When we go to the masjid, we find loudspeakers, mics. So isn't this a bid'ah? The answer is no. What happens if there is no electricity? Iqama is done. And I say, And all of a sudden, the mics don't work. There's no electricity. Should I call the prayer off and say, Okay, guys, there's no mic. Go home and do the prayer on your own. No. We say, Allahu Akbar, and we pray. Whether there are, light, there are lights or not, whether the sound system is working or not, these are not related to the prayer. These are means to enhance or to make the sound reach, reach people who live behind double glazed glass, for example, or in concrete houses. But it has nothing to do with the prayer itself. So I hope, Shahab, that this answers your question.